Hey, this is Russ. Yeah, I'm not on the road. <laughs> so what am I doing inside? Well, it's kind of rainy today. Yeah, you know, it's it's getting to the rainy season now in this area. So uh, yeah, you know, it's probably going to stop raining in a bit. But uh, you know, the streets are all wet. I don't want to be splattering the, the bikes up and everything. So yeah, I'm going to stay inside. But uh, yeah, I'm recording this one on the new um, Apple 15 Pro Max. Yeah, I set it up for 4, 4K recording at 30 frames per second. So we'll see how well it does. I figured it would be pretty easy to use this. Um, I just have the, uh, the phone set up on a tripod. I went horizontal with it. And, um, and then, of course, I'm going to just put myself in the corner of the screen. So I don't need a lot of real estate in order to... Uh, to get my recording done for me but you know people have asked before you know don't you have a decent camera to use you know when I first started doing these green screen videos uh, I had used my old Canon G7X Mark II which is an old point-and-shoot type camera and I'll put a picture up here so you can see what, what we're talking about and that one shoots a 1080p so when I run the green screen um, of myself on top of the writing videos that I typically show you during these type of videos. Um, those were shot at 4K, so you can see how crisp and clear those were, but then the video of me didn't look that sharp because it was, it was at 1080p. So I figured, well, I'm gonna need to use a, 10, uh, uh, use a 4K camera instead of a 1080p, so I said, well, I'll use my GoPro. The, the problem with the GoPro is that, you know, the, the, the camera lens is really more set for wide than anything else, so, to get a good head size for me on there, I had to bring it up really close to me, and that just creates a shadow on me from the lighting behind it. So I said, that, that doesn't work perfectly either. So, so what you have to do is you have to push it further away from you so that you don't create that shadow on yourself. But the problem with that is then I have to zoom in <laughs> to, uh, to make myself large enough on the screen, and of course you lose quality when you do that. So uh, I figured with this new uh, iPhone, I should be able to use that to uh, create a better look and it will be shooting at 4K. Now I do have another 4K camera and that is my uh, Nikon D850 uh, DSLR camera. You know I have a lot of lenses for it and everything because I was a pro photographer. I taught digital photography as well. But to set that thing up all the time just for these simple videos is just a little more of a hassle. I didn't really want to do it. So this is one of the extra reasons why I bought the 15 um, Pro Max because it has a little bit better camera on there. Okay, so let's talk about something that I think is important around this time of the year. Now, I know many of you are getting ready to probably stop riding pretty soon. If it doesn't happen now, it's gonna happen probably within the next month or so. You're probably gonna start thinking, yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna ride for, for uh, this year. So to get yourself ready for that, let's talk about battery life, okay? Now, you know I have a lot of bikes because the review bikes come to me and then uh, many of the manufacturers have given me a secondary battery as well. I have to deal with all those batteries too. So it takes me a while to get myself ready for the winter months. So what I typically recommend you do is don't leave your, your, um, your bikes in a fully 100% charged state and then not use it for months on end, okay? Your best bet is really is to bring that battery down to around the 75% level. Now, the way I do it, and it doesn't have to be exactly 75%, we're just talking, you know, bring it down, uh, take off a quarter of the power, you know, bring it down a little bit. So you could simply do this, just ride your bike and take a look at your, your um, battery meter. If your battery meter drops, you know, four down to four bars out of five, yeah, that's good enough, okay? You don't have to be precise on this thing. The key is just don't leave it at the 100% level because that over time uh, could actually be bad for your battery for that long of storage space, and uh, uh, storage time. Now, I had already started doing some things this year that I hadn't done in previous years. Um, after riding my bike uh, from, from, from a ride, uh, I would, if, if I only did a quarter of the battery, I'm done, I don't, I don't recharge it. I just kind of wait until the next time I take the bike out. But if I was um, riding it to the point where maybe it's uh, down by half or down by three quarters of the amount, I usually will charge it up. I noticed too, and I mentioned this before in my videos, that um, I noticed that some of my bikes seemed to drain the battery a little bit, all right? So I was starting to top the batteries off before I took it out for a ride. So my whole point is this, is that, you know, um, 
this year I tried my best to try not to top off the not to not to uh, to recharge the battery right away. I would uh, let it drop down to even in, if the halfway point, I would just leave it and and don't bother with it, with it. And then by the next time I take it out, I would charge the battery that day or maybe the night before, bring it up to 100%, okay? Now over uh, the, w the winter months, obviously I can't do that. So it's kind of important for me to, to bring everything back up to where it should be uh, to full charge and then just ride that bike about uh, down to 75%. And then, uh, then I just won't take that battery out anymore or that bike out anymore. So I'm gonna be starting to do that pretty soon, all right? Now we know that it's it's only coming up to the end of September, and uh, so we have several months still of riding time. I, I figure I can probably ride probably until early December. But if I start now, all right, if I start now, bring those batteries down to the 75% level, uh, and just do it for every bike that I have and every battery I have, and then uh, if, if we're still riding at that point, then just charge up those batteries to uh, to the full power of 100% before I take it out for my final rides. But again, leaving it at 75% by the end of the whole season. So anyway, I just wanted to remind you guys that you should probably consider doing that uh, too. If, if you've already stopped riding your bike, you know, take it out one more time, okay? Bring that level down to 75%. It'll, it'll be better for your batteries on the long run, okay? All right, that's really all I had for you guys today. I didn't want to make a really long video. First off, I just wanted to test out this uh, green screening uh, using the, the new phone. And then also just as a reminder for you to start looking into uh, maintenance type stuff. Clean, oh, okay, clean up your bikes too, all right? If you're gonna store it away for the season, clean it up, all right? Don't just kind of say, okay, I'm done and, and then stop everything, you know? Just go there and clean it up a little bit, you know? Put a, put a little bit of a, a, uh, water on on a towel and wipe down everything and then dry everything off. Okay, re-lube your chain too. By the way, okay, if you don't have a chain lube or anything like that, uh, look in the accessory things that I have in the description of the video, or or just simply go to the russisright.blogspot.com site. I have everything listed there. You can just get some some chain lube on there. I use the dry lube, by the way. They have dry lube and wet lube. Um, I use the dry lube, but there's there's a link in there for you. Okay, and while you're there, take a look at whatever else you think you might end up needing to get. But again, it is towards the end of the season, so you either get it now uh, and get it ready for next year, or wait until next year, whatever whatever um, your riding pattern is at this point. But uh, yeah, we we're getting colder uh, definitely. I, I noticed this last week. We've been in the upper 60s, low 70s. Um, seems to be staying at this point. So yeah, it's gonna get cooler and colder. Um, I ride in my shorts as long as I can, all right? And then as it starts getting colder, then I have to put on regular long pants and, and uh, start riding with the sweatshirt and all that type of thing. But right now I haven't been doing that. I still use my, uh, my UV rated shirts uh, and I have the, uh, the, uh, the yellow uh, safety vest or the yellow, orange safety vest if I'm taking out the Magicycle um, uh, Deer 20. Um, that's a yellow bike, so I use a, a orange vest for that one. But uh, yeah, it, it keeps me warm enough. But I, it's getting to the point where I'm, I'm gonna have to start looking at, uh, you know, wearing a sweatshirt eventually. So usually what I do is, is I'll wear a sweatshirt as long as I can, and then it starts going into winter jacket. Yeah, but I'll, I'll ride up until about 50 degrees because uh, at 50 degrees, you know, when the wind starts blowing on you it drops below 50. So I, I usually use 50 degrees as my cutoff point. So anyways, I just wanted to share that stuff with you. Get yourself ready for, for the upcoming months. If you're not gonna ride that much longer, then you know start preparing at this point. Otherwise, yeah, you have a few, few probably a good month, month and a half at least that you probably can still be able to go out and ride. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done it. I'll talk to you guys next time.